Wallace pulled back into Barrick. Santa Clara. Gahey has carried four times for 27 yards so far. Alfaro again looks like he's calling to play at the line of scrimmage. Snap! And number 63, Tom Sikowski at the 17 yard line. Nobody touched Sikowski. He came from his right linebacker position and nobody came close. A nine yard loss for number 10, Dave Alfaro. Sikowski, a 5'10", 190-pound senior out of Bakersfield. Would you like to see the blitz defined? Watch number 63, right linebacker Tom Sikowski. Quarterback doesn't see him. There's always a blind side to the quarterback. Alfaro did an excellent job for not uh, fumbling the ball. Yep. That did happen to me a couple times. Alfaro throws the screen. Complete to Gahey. Gehi is stopped with a sensational tackle by LeCharles Mc, Le Charles McDaniel as he went through three blockers to make the stop after a gain of three yards. This is a great defensive play by McDaniel. Watch this, Lee. Let's watch the screen setup. We've talked about the acting ability, how important that is, how the quarterback has to look downfield as if he's going to throw an actual pass. There, the screen sets up very well, but as you pointed out, Ted, watch number 45 come right through the blockers and take on, the, oh my goodness, that's an excellent play. McDaniel is 5'10", 178 pounds, Gahey, 6'3", 220. Third down and long. Scrambles, still looking, still scrambling. Goes across field to Parmalee, intercepted! Number 20, Chris Jones at the 40-yard line. Parmalee and Edmund Alarcio have a couple of words. Parmalee thought that he was interfered with, but Chris Jones stepped in front and made the play. If we can see the action in the secondary, we can see what Perry Parmalee perhaps was talking about. He feels that he was interfered with. Now watch a great effort by Dave Alfaro, because he's going to show a lot of poise here and get eluding a rush. He gets away from one man there. He's going to scramble out to his left, and he's going to look downfield for Parmalee. Now let's see in the secondary if we can see the interference that Parmalee thought was his. There it is right there. He was actually knocked down. Back to live action is Jackson. Takes the ball. Jackson on his way. Jackson at the five-yard line. Jackson finally went out of bounds at the four by Shotsman Harrison. Lewis Jackson, number nine, a 30-yard gain for Jackson, and he came very close to scoring on that one. Very reminiscent of a play we saw last week when we looked at the film yesterday of the ball game against Jacksonville State where he took the power pitch around the right side, hurdled the line of scrimmage, and went about that same distance for a touchdown. That time it was the power pitch to the left, and you saw some of that open field ability and also the speed of Lewis Jackson. First and goal from the nine-yard line as Jackson has now carried 13 times for 82 yards, and he's doing with a badly bruised shoulder. Traffin in a fullback picks up a yard. Number 80, Dave Schoenack makes the stop. Traffin, just a freshman out of Sacramento, 6'1", 210 pounder, only 18 years old. You see Craig Johnson from time to time stepping back from the huddle. What he's doing is looking to the sideline where the plays are flashed to him by the offensive coordinator. <laughs> blowing all over. An official's timeout. Okay. As you take a look at the official, let us remind you about ABC's Monday Night Football. Big game, an Eastern Division American Conference game between the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. Don't miss Frank Gifford, Howard Cosell, and Dandy Don Meredith in a Monday Night Football coming up this coming Monday night. A big game for the New England Patriots. Is it Dandy or Fran this year? How do we know for sure? We'll find